What's up, you guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. My day just got a little better because I just pulled on up to Target. It's a rainy day here in New Jersey, but Target always makes everything better, you know? I am like out of all of my stuff. It's one of those Target days where I like actually need to be here because I am out of literally everything. I didn't even have any deodorant this morning. I had to steal my husband's, which he's probably not going to be happy about. So I literally smell like a man right now. So got to get deodorant, lots of like self-care things that I'm out of. And I also have not been to Target literally in... I think months. I don't think I went at all this whole summer. I've just been busy and like haven't really perused. Let's go inside and go shopping. Okay, I always forgot that they have like full on Ulta's inside of Target's now, like Too Faced, Benefit, Tarte. This is crazy. I don't think I need anything though from like this section. Okay, I grabbed these NYX lashes because they are supposed to be like lash extensions. So we'll see. And then I need a new eyelash curler. I normally use the chart one, but it broke. So this one looks really similar from Japanesque. It's only 10 bucks. So I'll see if it's as good. If not, I'll just reorder the chart, but I figured we might as well try. I also need makeup wipes for to have on hand when I'm filming. So got those too. Steven only has one request in his Target haul and that's toothpaste. So. I'll get it. Radiant mint or? It's perfect. Good? Yep. Three pack. <laughs> Never mind, we're changing to Arctic Fresh. Okay, this is Ashley Tisdale's brand. I think it's called Frenzy. It smells so good. I think I want to get one of these. They also have a cashmere vanilla. This is like a hair, body, and linen spray. I normally like vanilla, but I think I like the lavender better. Let me see. This is a lavender one. Yeah, it just smells so fresh. How much is this? I think it's $10. I feel like that's decent. It smells good. You guys, they literally, only a little bit, but they have some Christmas lights ready. I, that, honestly, it warms my heart. It's a little early, but it warms my heart, I gotta say. The Halloween section is like already completely picked over. Like it's not even October yet, and there's like barely anything left. We do have a Halloween party to go to, and we need a couple's costume. So I don't know if they'll have one here, but if you guys have any recommendations for us, let us know. Okay, this is like more my speed for fall decor. These little pumpkins are cute. I like these. I just don't know, they don't really go like with the brown in my house. They're so cute though. These are amazing for makeup brushes. So I'm gonna get two of them. They only have two or I would get more, but they're so good. Oh my God, I have no idea where I would wear these, but are these not so cute? <gasps> Whoa, they have these little golden goose dupes too. These are cute, but they don't have my size. I like these honestly better than golden goose. Wait, so I love these. I feel like they're cool, like leather cargo pants. Steven's face <laughs> says otherwise. He found something he likes though. Cute little shoes. This is what Steven picks out for me to wear. <laughs> it's perfect. It is cute. All right, let's jump into the haul portion now. Like I said, when I went there, I was out of a lot of stuff. So I needed a restock on like a lot of my little self-care things. You guys saw the Crest toothpaste. This is the one that Steven likes. It's the 3D white. We got the Arctic Fresh flavor. You just got like a little three pack. Makes it a little cheaper when you like buy them like that because they're kind of expensive on their own, I think. The three pack was $12.99, but I feel like I've paid like $9 for one of them before, but that might've been at like a CVS or Walgreens or something, but stocked up on the toothpaste. I need a deodorant. So I get this Dove one. It's the Advanced Care. I like this one because it does doesn't leave my underarms like red or irritated. I feel like my underarms look a lot smoother since I started to use this one. I've used a bunch of different Dove deodorants, but this one I really like. It's like the caring coconut scent. It smells just like fresh. It's not like super coconutty either, which I like. I don't like the unscented ones, but I don't want it to be like crazy scented either. So that's the one I've been getting. Grabs a little two pack of my Neutrogena makeup wipes. They have fragrance free ones. So I got the fragrance free. I didn't really realize that the regular ones had fragrance in them to begin with. I've used them for a really long time and I feel like they're not super scented, but I saw fragrance free and I have sensitive skin. So I decided to grab these. I actually use a lot less makeup wipes than I used to. I don't use them every day as part of my skincare routine anymore, but when I'm filming and I can't like get up and actually wash my hands, like after each step, if I have makeup all over my hands and need to be like touching new things, it's helpful to have these on hand to be able to like cleanse my hands quickly. So I haven't bought them in a while. I got a little two pack. This should hopefully last quite a while. Okay, this one was like a little fun purchase. So I don't have this. Um, so it wasn't like a restock of anything, but this is the I hope I'm saying this brand right. Frenchy, I think is how you say it. It's Ashley Tisdale's brand. I believe Target is the only place that has it in store. And everything I've tried from the brand has been really nice and they all smell amazing. So this is the 
Unwind and Rest Lavender Cloud Hair and Body Linen Spray. So you can basically use this on your hair, your body, you can use it on your sheets, which lavender on your sheets is supposed to help promote like relaxation and sleep. I probably won't use it on my sheets to be completely honest. I kind of got it as like a body spray. Because some days if I don't want to wear perfume, I will just wear a body spray. I love the Sol de Janeiro one, but this is obviously cheaper and it actually smells completely different. Oh, it smells really nice. Like just very fresh, but not overly like scented. I really, really like this. And I don't normally like love lavender, but this smells absolutely amazing. So really happy with this purchase. Just smells so good. Grabbed the Olive and June Heal Balm. This stuff, if you have dry feet, like nobody likes to talk about like cracked dry feet, but let me talk to you about it, okay? Because nobody wants that. I have dry skin, okay? Whether it's my face, my body, my feet, like it's all dry. So I need like hydrating products. This really does work. I keep this in my bedside table. It's basically like a balm. It kind of looks like a deodorant. You can just twist the top up and then just like slather this on your feet. So I wait till I get in bed so I'm not like around like walking and stuff when I lay down at night. And I'll slather this on not only my heels, it does say it's like a heel balm, but I put it all over my feet and it really does help. If I want to do it during the day, I'll put this on and then I'll just put like a pair of like fuzzy socks on over it because I wouldn't suggest like putting this on and then trying to walk around in bare feet because it's definitely like a little slippery, but it's really really, really good. Olive and June makes a lot of nice like nail products and stuff. This is a really, really good product from them. I like it a lot and it's quick and easy to use. And in my experience works a lot better than like lotion does. I broke my eyelash curler. I've always used the Tarte eyelash curler. I love it. And I've honestly had it for like five, six years now at this point. I don't even know how long and it finally stopped working. Like the springs don't work anymore. So I grabbed this. This is from Japanesque. And honestly, it looks very similar to the Tarte one. So I'm interested to see like if it works the same. So I can keep you guys updated on that, but looks really similar. And I liked the handles, like they're pretty little pattern, but the curvature and the top of it looks a lot similar to the Tarte one and can really give like a deep curl to the lashes to really pick them up. So that's why I always liked the Tarte one. This one is obviously cheaper. I paid nine bucks for it. So we'll see how it works. Speaking of lashes, you guys saw, I also grabbed these lashes. Now this, I really want to see because these are from NYX. I have tried, or okay. <laughs> At first I was like, wait, is it NYX? Yes, it is. I tried a different set of lashes from this like line that they came out with and I did really like them. These are a different style. These are the Ego Flare. So they're kind of like tapered, like shorter towards the center of the eye and then get longer, which is typically what I like, like a little bit more like cat eye effect to the eyes. Here's the thing though. This one pair of lashes was $11.99. That's a lot for one pair of lashes. Like I could buy a 10 pack, at least 10 to 12 lashes on Amazon for honestly like $8.99. So this is definitely hefty. What I remember from the other pair that I got from NYX is that I could wear them like quite a few wears. They were definitely good quality lashes. So I wanna see. Oh, it actually says on the back here, reusable up to 15 times. So, I mean, that is a lot. I'm gonna see. Um, I kind of bought these more as like a let me test them before I would necessarily recommend them to you guys. They're also supposed to look very natural like lash extensions. So I wanna see obviously it's a lot cheaper than the lash extensions are and a whole heck of a lot less damaging. So definitely interested to see if these are worth the $11.99 price point, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Okay, I forgot about the clothes that I got. Let me show you. So I did end up getting the t-shirt that Steven picked out for me, the little Budweiser one. Honestly, this is pretty cute. Like my husband is not, you know, super into like fashion and style, but I was like, you know what? Actually, I feel like that could totally be like styled, like cute with like a pair of jeans, some Nike dunks or like Converse, maybe like a little denim jacket, like in the fall. I don't have a ton of like graphic tees like this, but sometimes it's like cute when you want something a little bit more casual. And I don't need this like fancy blouse sort of sweater situation or whatever. And this was also, it says $12.99 on here, but I could have sworn it was 10 bucks. Let me see. Okay, no, $12.99. I don't know why I thought it was 10, but still, I feel like $12.99 is still a pretty good price. So grabbed that. And then I also grabbed, which I thought was very cute. This is from Threshold, which is one of my favorite kind of lines at Target. They have really nice jewelry. I tend to like their clothes as well, but they had this like white linen, like cutoff shirt. I love like the look of like a crisp white collared shirt like this, but then love that this was like a little bit more casual with the cutoff. So I thought this would be really cute with jeans and you can wear it buttoned up or you can wear it with like a tee or a tank underneath kind of open really good transitional piece for the fall and can be worn like a million different ways and it's a nice like thick linen material this was 25 bucks i got this in a size small because it does run quite big and i didn't want it to be like super oversized still the small on me was oversized which i normally am always a medium if not a large depending on if something runs small or not but typically i'm a medium so this definitely does run big but really cute and i feel like i would wear that a bunch of different ways so definitely would be like a stable piece that i would get a lot of use out of and I don't have just like a plain white one like that. Loved that. Now up next, 
I did get the shoes. You guys are gonna be like, Kelly, you said you didn't have anywhere to wear them. But I remembered that I actually do. So my best friend gets married at the end of October. Ooh, they're like caught. Oh no, they're just tied together. But this is what these shoes look like. Like look, they are literally encrusted with these rhinestones. Look at how pretty they shimmer like in the sun. Oh my goodness. Whoa, like there's no filter or anything on this. Like this is just literally how they're shimmering. Wow, okay. But my best friend gets married in the end of October. I'm a bridesmaid and she did request that we wear silver heels. That's what she picked as like the color. There's a different wedding that I'm in that they requested nude heels. So those I have, like I got those on lock, but I didn't realize that almost all of my heels are either nude or black. And then I have like one pair of white heels. I did not have any silver heels that were like an evening sort of shoe to wear with a gown as a bridesmaid. So I'm gonna see how these look with the bridesmaid dress. They may be like a little too much. If they are and I don't feel like I have another reason to wear them, then I will return them. I'm not just gonna keep them if I don't feel like I could wear them, but I thought they could be really pretty with the dress. And since I didn't have a pair of silver heels, I figured I might as well try them. I also like that the heel is very thick and there is quite a platform on these. So while they're tall and definitely a heel, the foot is not gonna be super arched. So I can wear them and dance in them like all night long. They're not super uncomfortable. I tried them on in the store and they didn't feel uncomfortable on the feet. So I did end up getting the pair of these. We'll see if I end up wearing them. I have to try them on once I get the dress back. It's being altered right now. And these were the most expensive item that I got. They were 50 bucks, so not super cheap, but not for shoes. I feel like for heels, not a horrible price, especially for the detail on them with like all the rhinestones and stuff. I felt like it was a pretty decent price. So grab those. I grabbed another wet brush. So if I can tell you anything, never brush your wet hair with a brush that is not meant for wet hair. So I really, really like these wet brushes to use when my hair is wet. My other one that I had, I have had for like five years now and it's just seen better days. Okay, my camera just died on me, but we're back. But what I was saying is my old wet brush, because these bristles are supposed to basically move a lot more than a regular brush. So again, you're not ripping through and damaging your wet hair because I've had it for so long and used it so long, the bristles were like all wonky and out of shape. So I figured it was time for a new one and they're not super expensive. This was $9.99. You guys saw when I was in the store, I talked about these. These are such a good buy. Let me tell you, run to Target to get these. I got the only two that they had. They're in the like office, home office section. So I guess technically, I mean, these are used for like office supplies if you wanted to put like pens or something. I don't know what exactly. Love the little gold twirl thing here, but it's like a lazy Susan. So it spins around and there is so much space in here. I like to use these for my brushes, like my makeup brushes on my vanity. I actually got one for my brushes. And I think in the other one, I'm going to do like lip glosses, lip liners, lipstick, stuff like that. So I can have them all in here and I can see the colors and they're easily accessible on my vanity top. What I've used for my makeup brushes for like the past 10 years are just these glass cups that I got from Dollar Tree, which have definitely I've gotten my, my dollars out of them because like I said, I've had them for so, so long, but they're rather small. So because of the amount of brushes I have, I have so many of them on my vanity top, like filled with the brushes because you can't put too many brushes in each cup because the top is kind of small. Where with this, I could fit literally like almost five or six cups worth just all stored in here because there is so much room and the top is wide. So you don't have to worry about it being tapered like a cup would be. So really, really great to organize really anything. But for me, it'll be used in my beauty room on my vanity just to try and organize it a little bit better. They're $15 each. They're very nice quality. They're sturdy. I have another one that I've had for, I want to say about three months now and really, really love it. So glad that I snagged these other two because I've been meaning to go back ever since I got the old one. I was like, this is so good. And now I finally got them. So I should have everything nice and organized. And then last but not least, I got some tampons, nothing super exciting. Um, I decided to go with this brand. I've never actually tried this brand. I guess it's just called L. Is that the name of the brand? As far as I can see, it looks like it is. So these are hundred percent organic cotton core BPA free plastic applicators, no chlorine dyes, fragrances, or rayon. If y'all like looked into the stuff that they put in some tampons, it's like kind of really scary. So they're a little bit more expensive than regular ones. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, yes, you will pay a little bit more. This was $11.79. Um, for 42 tampons, but to me to have like the no chlorine, BPA free organic, like all that kind of stuff for something that's gonna be like going in your body for one or $2 more for me, that was worth it. So that's why I decided to get this brand. Again, I've never tried it. So let me know if you have like a different organic tampon brand that you really liked. I always just used to use like tan packs, but figured I would try these ones out for something a little bit different and see how they worked. So yeah, that is everything that I got you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will link everything down below in the description box and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.